Hello and welcome. My name is Randerson Cardozo. I'm a cardiologist in Boston in the United States. And in this channel, we talk about two topics. First of all, how research in medicine can impact your career, whether you want to be a clinician, a researcher, or an educator. And I also teach you how you can reach autonomy. You can be independent in producing your own research, high impactful research. So if either of these topics interest you, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. Remember that the topics that I share here are not considered medical advice and the opinions are exclusively mine. They do not necessarily reflect the opinions of my employers. Okay, so this is the Meta-Analysis Academy where I teach you how to do meta-analysis. But what in the world is a meta-analysis? What exactly is that? That's the topic of today's video. I'm going to show you what it is and more importantly, I'm going to show you why it's such a powerful tool for you to conduct independent research on your own. So I like to define meta-analysis in the following way. It is a quantitative synthesis of studies that are similar to each other. So let's take this example, which is a meta-analysis that I published in one of the best journals in cardiac electrophysiology. This was a very simple and straightforward idea. We compared here NOACs, like a Pixaban, Rivaroxaban, two vitamin K antagonists like warfarin in patients who have catheter ablation for AFib, for atrial fibrillation. It's a very simple idea. So I want you to look at these names, Dibiase, Dillier, Kuwahara, and others. All these nine studies were similar to each other. They all compared the NOAX to warfarin in patients who have catheter ablation for AFib. And because they are so similar to each other, I can pull them, I can combine them and generate new results, new data, new conclusions. And that's exactly what a meta-analysis is. In fact, when you do a meta-analysis, the combined results of all studies can be different. The results of the meta-analysis can be different from the individual study results. In fact, that's what's shown here. In this forest plot, we're gonna learn in future videos how to interpret and how to do forest plots like this one. So this has to be a very clear concept. A meta-analysis is the quantitative synthesis of studies that are similar to each other. But why does that matter to you? That's a very important question. We're gonna make future videos discussing that in more detail, but here's a summary of why it's so important for you to understand this concept. So because these studies are done, they're published in the literature, you can get access to them, and you can do the meta-analysis on your own. You don't depend on anyone else. These authors, Dibiase, Dillier, Kuwahara, and others, they already published this. It's there. Done. You don't have to recruit patients. You don't have to spend your money to do a meta-analysis to generate new results. The results are published, and because they are similar to each other, these studies, you can combine them and write your own meta-analysis. Everything that you need is within reach to publish a powerful study, not just any study, one that has impact in the literature, one that can boost your career. It's all there. These studies are published. And over here, you can learn how to do this. You can do this, learn how to do this on your own. That's what I'm going to teach you in this Meta-Analysis Academy. So if you're interested in this content, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned in for future videos.